So welcome back uh, to the third video in my series on building the PI Polonis, Polish PI, pulse induction metal detector. I wanted to show the schematic for this build. Um, this is the one that was laid out by Lucas Labs and is almost identical to what I'm building. Later in the video, I kind of had a momentary memory lapse, and I was talking about this C2 capacitor, and I couldn't recall the size that I had changed this to. Um, so it, as you can see in the schematic, C2 is listed as 220 nanofarads, but if you do some research, you can see modifications. And uh, this has been modified to go to a, a 33 nanofarad size capacitor, which enables you to do a 500 hertz uh, frequency, pulse frequency, as opposed to somewhere 100 or 120 hertz. So I, I want, just wanted to make note of that. Um, in this portion of the build, we're putting in the op amp right here. It's an LF357, and we'll be adding all the associated uh, capacitors and resistors that go with that. We'll be showing the output of the op amp, and we finish up the construction of the output of the MOSFET with adding on the damping resistor jig, and we put in the, all the pieces that you see right here diode, uh, this 220 ohm resistor, and we show that. So that basically, that's what we're going to look at today in the upcoming video. Thanks. Okay, here we are on video three of my series of my build of the PI Polonis Polish pulse induction metal detector. So what I have here on the screen is a, uh, a build document that I'm working off of. And it's, it's not an exact replica of the board that I'm doing, but it's, it's extremely close. And it's the only build document, or I shouldn't say the only build document, it's the best one that I could find for the project that I'm doing. So the first image that we have here, this shows you approximately what it's gonna look like when we uh, make the, the pulse transmitter portion of the circuit. And I'll show you a little bit later on the oscilloscope what that looks like and uh, what our frequency looks like at, at that point. So, but the basic takeaway is that you should have a, a negative rectangular waveform, which we can see right here. And then if we continue to the next portion, if I can use my mouse here properly, I come down here a little bit too much. So what we see here is the, the flyback signal. And I'll show you what it looks like. I'll be attaching the oscilloscope probes across my damping resistor jig. And we'll get an image very much like that one there. And the the last part that we're going to take a look at today 
is the output of the op amp and that's what we have here uh, the op amp in this case is a lf357 and when we look at the output pin we get something very close to this this sort of image and that's what we're going to be looking at in this video okay uh pi polonis build so i i realized that i had neglected to show what i have for the uh, transmit uh, pulse width so you can see on the screen of the oscilloscope um, the the hertz that i have i've, I've got uh, just about 501 hertz i couldn't get to 500 the uh, the trimmer on the board that i have is only a single turn and it's uh, that that's as close as i could get it so to adjust that you need to adjust um, the uh, trimmer number one and also in order to get up to 500 hertz you need to change uh, which capacitor is it it is C2 um, and what did I change it to I changed it from take a look here I changed it from 220 nanofarad I, I think I changed it to 133 or maybe it was 33 I'll, I'll double check that so once again show you the image on the screen there it is okay and we continue okay so I've installed the LF357 op amp and I'm on pin 6 so you can see the op amp output it's a little bit a little bit jumpy due to the trigger um, but that's what that looks like and let me hook onto my cross my damping resistor and I'll, I'll show you what the flyback signal looks like okay here's the uh, flyback signal um, I'm hooked across my my damping resistor uh, jig so just per division I've got 20 volts and 10 microseconds we'll change it 25 microseconds and 50 microseconds so just to give you an idea of what that looks like um, and we shall continue 